Hey everybody, just uh, giving you an update on what I'm doing in the kitchen tonight. Um, uh, I wanted to get to work on the under cabinet lighting. So I ended up getting a, a couple different pieces uh, for my kit. I didn't buy a complete kit, I bought, I bought the different individual pieces. And so I got one 16 foot roll of, of LED lighting and this is actually a 12 volt. You can get 12 volt or 24 volt, and this this particular run um, that I wanted uh, actually has, and I'll open it up for you. It has um, it's red, green, and blue, and then it also has the white um, as well. So uh, rather than having um, one LED that handles all the lighting, this strip actually has has two. It's almost like two strips into one. And as you can see there, one side is the white light that you would use for normal, you know, everyday lighting. And then another strip does the red, green, and blue um, spectrum lighting. So that gives you um, your various colors. But the addition of the white in there uh, allows you to have lots of different variation in there. And this can infinitely adjust, and so that's why I chose this particular uh, run and it happened to be 12 volt. Now you can do 24 volt and it, um, it's a little more powerful um, especially if you're running um, longer runs or multiple runs on one uh, one transformer. And so they come in different widths. This is actually a, like a 14 millimeter um, which is kind of an oddball size. Um, it's pretty wide because it has the two sets of LEDs. But I found some um, connectors, some pigtail connectors that will actually clip into place. And I'm not sure how well they're going to work, but um, uh, I thought I'd give them a shot because they were like, I don't know, a buck ninety-eight a piece or something like that. It was not really very expensive um, to connect these. So I got three of those. The next thing that I bought in the kit is you need to power it. And so you need to have a transformer. And, and, and so I purchased this one. Uh, through Amazon. It's a mean well and it is a 12 volt. You need to make sure uh, when you're actually uh, purchasing this that you actually get the right voltage for what you're using. So if you have a 24 volt strip you need to get a 24 volt uh, transformer. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you you get a transformer that's properly sized for the kit that you're using. Um, the more lights you're using the more amps it draws so you have to figure that out and so you need a transformer and then if you're doing four color like I'm doing with the RGB and the white you need uh, what's called a four channel RF dimmer um, so that's what this is and essentially uh, you the power from the transformer the 12 volt power that comes out of the transformer goes into this and then uh, your your five wires for your LED lights um, comes out and goes to the actual light strip and it actually has a, a radio frequency um, so you're not actually having to wire um, hard wire from this to your wall controller it actually sends a radio frequency to the wall controller so the, the wall controller is powered separately but then it's getting radio frequency from here to to be able to turn it on and turn it off and change the dimming and actually change the color and then the last thing you need is uh, I wanted to be able to, um, which cost me the most money, was these controllers, and they were about eighty to eighty, almost ninety dollars a piece, and they were kind of expensive. Um, I was trying to find the one that uh, would work best. Um, you could get some ones that were less expensive, but the reason why I like these is because uh, you don't have to have um, a hundred. This will run off one hundred and ten volts. Um, so all you need is just light switch power and then you don't actually have to run a wire from that to your your light strips or your control your RF controller because it, it uses the radio frequency so that's what makes it nice so this one was a good solution for me to not have 12 volt um, circuit and a 110 circuit in the same uh, box together so I don't think it's code um, to have that. You'd have to have separate boxes or you have to have a special box. And I like the way the wall, the, the actual um, face looks. So you can turn it on, turn it off. Um, it's got three different uh, memory settings uh, for how you want to uh, set your lighting. And then you can change the color. 
and then you have a color wheel that you just touch, it's just touch on there and you can adjust it the way you want to. Um, and then you can go, you know, your brightness or your cool or warm white lighting. Um, and so I got two of these because I wanted to be able to control it. One over here by the, by the kitchen sink and one as you leave so you can turn it off from, from um, either, sec either place in the, in the room. So I want to go ahead and mount this RF controller and the transformer um, in this peninsula cabinet. I'm either going to mount it up here or on this side right in here somewhere. Um, so that's, that's the plan for right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get to work. So what I'm going to do is go, you know, black to black, white to white, green to green, brown to brown, and red to red, and then I'll stick them in there. And I guess I'm just going to go. Brown is going to be my blue, because I need blue, so. Everything else is, works out okay. <clears throat> so, so let's just go ahead and strip all these. So the next part of the uh, installation is um, mounting the light strips. I actually bought some some light, uh, I guess, diffusers. They're like uh, U-channel, basically aluminum channel, um, and it actually has a um, kind of a frosted finish just to, to diffuse the light a little bit, so that you didn't see the individual dots of of each LED on the countertop. Um, and then it also comes with these little plastic brackets um, that you can see here. And it came with screws, so all the hardware that you need. And then it also comes with little end caps. Um, some end caps don't have holes in them. Um, and then some end caps are for continuation, so it actually does have a hole so that the wires can pass through. Um, so, nice kit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is... Um, actually mount these clips up underneath there. Now I've notched this right here so that I can run past the wire through this area and still put my cover. And that way you don't see the wire coming across. You'll only see a little bit right here, but nobody's looking under there. Now on this side, the wires need to pass. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I don't know if I'm going to have enough wire. Wish that was a little longer. I guess I'm going to have to run a little extender wire to come across here. Because this pigtail is just not long enough. Yeah. 
So let's test this one out. <clears throat> Should work. Alright, here's the controller. I already wired it up. You hit power. Oh, yeah, we got it. So there's, there's your bright light for, for working. <clears throat> so that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, mount the brackets for this one and uh, put it up there. I'm getting ready to uh, cut the the LED light strip, but uh, I need to um, figure out how much I can use uh, for this this area back here. Um, I want to use as much of it as I can, obviously, but I still need to have enough left over to to do that cabinet there. Um, so I don't want to um, cut too long on on this side and not have enough for the other one so I'm um, just figuring out how much I have left um, and then determine where I want to make the cut so I'm ready to cut this down so I know where I want to cut it I'm gonna cut it right here see this right here but you have to cut it right in the center of it so that you can uh, make connections on either side so the copper is what makes the connection so you just want to cut it right in the middle and that's it and just make sure that your copper the copper paper is underneath all those little contact points and then you just slide it in there you go now it's in place and then you just clip it down pinch it good so that it's tight and you know, we're gonna unstick it we're gonna stick it down here So, I think it looks good. And then we'll be able to do this one here, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, I mean, we're already getting power over there, so I just need to wire it up. But uh, it's getting kind of late, so I'll probably wait for another even. Let's turn this off and see how it looks. Pretty cool. <laughs> 